Royal Shock. Kate Middleton may not be seen at royal events until October for this reason. The Duchess has been on maternity leave since early April, only weeks before she gave birth to Prince Louis on April 23, and is entitled a six-month break before recommencing royal duties. Speaking exclusively to Express.co.uk, royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams commented on the Duchess' absence, saying, Kate will be resuming royal duties after taking extended maternity leave as expected after Louis's birth, probably in the autumn. The Duchess may not be seen at official engagements until October 2018, but will likely attend select family events, as was the case with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding in May just three weeks after she gave birth. Commenting on the Duchess' schedule, royal biographer Duncan Larkham said, it is traditional for new royal mums to take a six-month break from official engagements. The wedding doesn't count because it was a family affair but other than that, she will pick and choose her engagements. If she wanted, Kate could disappear into the background until October. Kate will instead take time to look after Prince Louis in private, who may also be decidedly absent from the public eye for the foreseeable future. Commenting on Prince Louis' next appearance, Mr. Fitzwilliams added, his christening, reportedly in the summer, is likely to be when he is next seen. Prince William will instead pick up the mantle of royal duties, and will conduct a series of solo charity engagements and royal tours in the coming months. Commenting on the Duke's highly anticipated upcoming tour of the Middle East, Mr. Fitzwilliams added, William will be alone on a highly significant five-day official visit to Israel. Jordan and the occupied Palestinian territories in June. This is a first for a member of the royal family and underlines the importance of using its senior members on soft power trips abroad to promote goodwill. A Kensington Palace spokesman commented on the tour, saying, The historic nature of this tour is of course important and the Duke considers it a great privilege to be undertaking the first ever official royal tour of Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories and to be able to help further strengthen the friendship between Jordan and the United Kingdom. More importantly, however, the Duke is looking forward to building a real and enduring relationship with the people of the region. In particular he is pleased that his program will allow him to meet a number of people from his own generation and young Jordanians, Israelis, and Palestinians. His Royal Highness is looking forward to learning about their unique perspectives, but also their shared ambitions and hopes for the future. During his visit, Prince William will meet the leaders of both Israel and Palestine, Benjamin Netanyahu and Mahmoud Abbas. He will also visit the Jerash archaeological site in Jordan, and the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem where the Duke's great-grandmother, Princess Alice, is buried.